that was pretty, I just kind of made that up on the spot. So I don't know if that's articulated in any way that's reasonable, but, but that's kind of, yeah. No, I love that. That's, that's so good. And you touched on that, that self-awareness piece and then getting into just where our attention goes in, in so many different ways, like being aware of what's going on that requires you to be actually be able to focus and tap in on what's going on in here or in here, um, as well as being able to, to make space between that attention and emotion so that you're able to see clearly in the game and then input some of those techniques and strategies that you were talking about that we wouldn't even have the space or bandwidth to do if we were so caught up with what's going on, the experience, reacting, uh, and I love kind of, I've been obsessed with this idea of attention and really understanding how it works actually like in our brain and then how it plays out in our life. Like how a lot of times we're reacting like from that bottom up um, process where we're instinctually or impulsively reacting to things. And then the flip side of that is like the top down process where we're, we're taking time to have like this I guess is the executive function in your brain like okay I recognize this and I am taking control of this situation so I'm not just reacting I'm implementing some of those values and stuff like I'm going to choose to focus on this and regulate my behavior based on that and I love the play between because not one is not better than the other because in the game it serves different uses like some we don't always need to be thinking logically about each and every action actually that's what leads to choking a lot of times because we're overthinking what we're doing sometimes we do need to sit back and let all of that motor skills stuff that we've developed over the years that habitual the the bottom of that iceberg that you kind of mentioned before um all that's playing out be, uh underneath come through with that bottom up, like, just let that go. You know what to do. You know how to play. You don't need to coach yourself through every moment. But sometimes there are those moments where you're like, that is getting out of control. And you're like, <laughs> whoa, all right, let's tap into what I have practiced or what I've chosen to be a priority. What do I need to focus on in this moment and have that top down action of like, okay, this is what we're going to think about now. This is where we're going to, what we're going to pay attention to, what we're going to focus in on.